Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry in Forest City, Iowa. And I'm here at Winnebago's 50th Grand National Rally. They do this rally every year in July. And you can see behind me the tops of the other RVs as I'm standing on top of mine. And each year they get anywhere between 800 and a thousand RVs attend the rally and a thousand RVs means probably somewhere around 1700 1800 people so in this video I'm going to show you a few things that were going on the first day of the rally and over here is the building where they have all the vendor booths and these tents are for our various seminars that they're giving each day and most of the RVs here are lined up by state I am in the Texas row right here and each state has their own row of RVs and you can see that the large majority in fact, all that I can see from here <laughs> are motorhomes. They do get some towables, but they're in a certain different section. And there's still room for more, as you can see right here. So, hope you enjoy this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. These are all new coaches that you can go in and take a look at. Look at this on the outside. Some of these have an outdoor kitchen right in this compartment. How about that? A lot of these Class B's have Mercedes chassis on them. Get it while it's on sale. <laughs> oh. 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 Popcorn, that's what we come for. <laughs> you can buy all sorts of things here for camping. Lantern, popcorn popper, a waffle iron. Oh no, they're out of popcorn. Oh, oh these look good. <laughs> these Winnebago views are a popular model. 25 feet, 8 inches long. This is 32 feet if you'd like a bigger one. Or how about this one? It's a pretty long one for having only two axles this is 41 feet and usually when you get over 40 feet you get three axles which really helps in the back for all the weight going on mostly in the rear of the coach a lot of them have these outdoor TVs I had that option on mine but I knew I wouldn't get much use of it so I said no free wine beer and popcorn really brings the people out and they have a lot of coaches here to look at. They have a dog park over here inside that chain link fence. And everybody is coming in to the amphitheater here. Most nights they're having some entertainment here in their amphitheater. And tonight is a concert by a country western singer, a lady by the name of Stephanie Quayle. And I think this is the opening act that hasn't started yet. I think that is the Winnebago Singers. It's a group of Winnebago owners who have their own little special interest group to do singing. We have on site 
over 800 Winnebago motorhomes and travel trailers. That's pretty amazing. And I think I know where they're sitting, but we, we passed 100 Class B vans this year. I know where they're sitting. And so the right Class there. B happy hour starts about 12.30, we think. No, it's great to have you here and love to see the, the numbers growing. Another recognition I want to make, and this is pretty special, and I, I think really, really speaks to the power of the brand and the power of the community that we're building. Um, we have WIT Club charter members here that have been members with us since 1972. Absolutely. Give them a big hand. And I know we'll have some time uh, later in the week to celebrate, celebrate with all of you. I also want to take a minute, this, this event is an incredible amount of work for a lot of people who tirelessly put up with uh, thunderstorms, straight line winds, and even sunshine once in a while. And we think the, uh, the weather's behind us, we look forward to having a great week. But I want to thank all the Winnebago employees and all the Wood Club volunteers, the community members, um, and everyone that really helps make this event as special and as well run as it is. So thank you to all of you for all the work you a Montana native. I'm sure she spends a lot of time in uh, Nashville as well and touring around the country, but she is the newest member of the 2019 CMT Next Women of Country class, which is a big deal in the country music industry. Uh, we welcome our friend back to Forest City, Iowa in the Grand National Rally. Please help me welcome Stephanie Quayle.
campgrounds all over the country, um, from Montana to Florida, from New York to uh, California. And as we got to know the KOA campgrounds more and Winnebago more, we teamed up with KOA Care Camps, one of the organizations that you all are supporting so magnificently. And if I can just speak to that for a moment, these precious kids, when they get to go to camp, they don't have to think about their illness, they don't have to think about their concerns, they get to be kids with other kids, and it's tremendous. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of these kids along the way, so I just want you to know that where your money goes, it matters so much for these kids to have an opportunity to just play. We took a Winnebago crisscrossing the country, 9,000 miles. That's a lot. It also had my face on the side of the mini Winnie. I'm shameless. And uh, when we made our way up to Canada, it was quite hilarious. This is Winnebago. Don't you want to see more than this? How about we blow this down a goodbye kiss? Don't you want to get down to you? Why don't we leave our troubles in a view? That's it for Winnebago's 50th Grand National Rally, day number one. Good day, folks. Mark County